Hey everybody, welcome back to Wasteland 3. Uh, we're up here overlooking these wolves. Uh, two of them, as far as I can tell, we have an alpha and two non-alphas, a couple of beta wolves. Uh, looks like we could have had a cool shortcut through here, um, but we didn't notice it until we got to this side, took out this enemy, and there's this cool trap set up. <sighs> Would have been awesome. One day, one day something cool will happen to us. Now we do have these two cats. Uh, Major Tomcat, and I guess this is now regular cat. I think it was like Bella Cat before or something. There's a fox out here we might try and tame, but regardless, we're going to try and kill these things, even though we don't really need to. I think we're really close to leveling, so any type of XP that we can get uh, would be beneficial, in my opinion. Now, is there a way that we can check, like, detection? That's the question. Because it seems like kind of hit or miss as to whether or not we actually can. Oh, okay. So maybe that, maybe we just have to really just keep people close. We're hung over, so less action points, which is bad because of that uh, drink that we took to make him stronger. Well, I'm wondering if... Okay, you kind of need to be in front as well. Math machine somewhere over here is good with uh he's got that frozen ferret launcher. How does that work exactly? Is it single target or is it an AoE? Looks single target. That actually might be a decent way to open. Then we've got our pistol somewhere up here. And Marshall Quan like somewhere over here. Let's see if this works. Let's kneel. And let's go for it. You brought this on yourselves. Got him. Now, we don't know exactly what Frozen does, but we can assume that just keeps them in place. I have to imagine. I wish there was a way, and maybe there is, uh, to check, like, the status of these things. Anyway. I think we try and deal with this here. We're not in cover. We have a 95%. I'm only worried that Costello takes a bit of a beating here. Uh, let's see if we can get an attack in. Or actually what we could do is just move up like one space and we'll throw on a little overwatch because these guys being all melee, they might want to come for us pretty aggressively. Okay, that's pretty good. I think we'll carry these over. Quan. Lucia. Let's move Julia up a tad. Probably don't want to apply fire to the Frozen. The Frozen 2 might also only... Um, it might only slow them or something, which is a possibility. Thirty-seven, forty-eight. Let's lay it down on the back here and get the spray. I like it. We can go defensive. Okay, and then... Let's pull over to this side. See if we can take this one out. What a, what a whiff. What an absolute whiff. It's horrible. <sighs> Don't hit Costello. Very good. Still alive. One! We have precision strike. We want it. I mean, we kind of have to take this. Let's switch to this gun. We don't need the higher damage range, and we have a bunch of ammo. There you go. I think we're getting, like, some lucky action points triggering here. Let's actually do a precision strike on the Alpha Wolf here for extra damage. Go for the head. Uh, are we on the right gun? 11 to 13. Good. 
need 64. Doesn't look like that's going to happen. Actually, yeah, it will. This is per shot. This could happen. Okay. I thought we hit the head there, but it looks like we hit the legs. I think math, just chill. Let's carry this forward. And... I think we're going to carry this forward, too. Let's see what the range is like. Unfortunately, did not go for Costello. We might get a swing here, though. There you go, big boy. The cats are going to clean up these kills, aren't they? Not today. Who deserves a kill? Costello? Eat him down. Out of range. Oh, the cats are blocking us. Of course they are. Of course they are. That's really uh, annoying. This drunk thing is, is hurting us. 31 turns remaining. Outside of combat, that should go pretty quick. The outcome was never in doubt. All right. Pretty happy with that. What do we got? We got uh, wolf fangs, wolf paws, and wolf pelts. Can't complain. Looks like they took everything from this body down here. Uh, we leveled up on Costello. So what do we want to do here? Uh, we've maxed out strength. We have one attribute left. I'm kind of thinking speed. Speed and coordination on him need to be the next two focuses for sure. Um, this upgrade does not give us an extra action point. So let's take the action points that we have and make them a little bit better, I think. Then in terms of skills, what do we want to do? So my thought process is, is now kind of, okay, we're level five. We should be trying to keep our melee stuff as close to that as possible like our uh, primary skill so maybe we'll take this one and do we want to put one in kiss ass because we've got kiss ass on Quan, right yeah Quan might not be with us forever but maybe we just save this maybe that's what we'll do Just see if there's anything else on this side. Oh, buried items. Okay, now we're talking. This is where we have a chance to find uh, gold and stuff, I guess. Hey, a creepy doll. Sweet and mousy is her look, but she's got your secrets in her book. Grants bonus to all squad members, plus perception. And we've got a shrink grenade. Throw to bring someone down a peg. Applies shrunk. Whoa, that's weird science. Okay, so that's a uh, math machine, I believe. It's our weird science. Yeah, cool. Math machine, guess what? Instead of healing, you're going to carry these shrink grenades. That would have been cool. So I think the idea is you would have discovered this uh, coming into that group of, of wolves and you probably go for the shrink, right? So let's go ahead and talk to our regular cat and dismiss it then we'll we'll see what a what the fox does for us cats are adding crit i believe now we're doing oh leadership range increase uh, okay that doesn't really help us because costello doesn't have uh anything in in leadership abbots are our true leader but that's okay Everything's clear over here. Guess we didn't empty this out. Very good. The chicken was outside of what's possible for us. Level four, I think. And then we saw people up here. Let's go. Maybe we'll find her family. 
Isaac Reed, the clothes on this young man are impeccably tailored. The height of local fashion. He holds his hands up and launches into what is obviously a prepared speech. I'm Isaac Reed. On behalf of all of us here, I want to offer our unconditional surrender. As proof of our goodwill, I want to tell you that the culprits got into town with help from Farron Brigo's organization and... Farron and... Brigo? We don't know that name. Isaac, how could you? How could you throw in with these people? How could you let them take my family? Where are my parents and my little brother? They're... They're in the grave you passed on the Oh, lake. no! They didn't suffer, Lucia. I, I promise. Baby, look. I didn't mean it to go this way. Baby. I, I tried to stop them. I, I really did. I begged. Stop talking right now. So, wait a second. You guys were helping the Dorseys? We... We thought we were in the right. The Dorseys promised that we could take down the Patriarch. They didn't say anything about murdering hostages. What about all the other people they killed? Or was that part okay with you, Isaac? Just tell us how all these people wound up dead. It was Neilius Dorsey. He went looking for your family, Lucia. Your family especially. That's why I got you out of your house before the raid. I didn't want anything to happen to you. So he knew about it, but then still didn't say anything? You didn't want anything to happen to me? So you let savages abduct and murder my family? You knew what they meant to me. You knew what their loss would do to me. But you're still alive, Lucia. Don't you see? You're still alive, and that's what matters most to me. Okay, you gotta lay off the rhymes. Where's this Neelius Dorsey now? It's uh, the Dorsey uh, brother, I believe, of the person that we ran into at the beginning. I think that's the same Dorsey that we're talking about here, Neelius. He escaped. He took some vehicles and headed west into the mountains. I don't think he was planning to come back. Why did you, like, what was your thought process? Why betray your community? We've been under the Patriarch's boot for 50 years. We say that the hundred families are in charge, but it's really just his family. Just him. I know you must think I'm a fuzzy-headed idealist, but this society is sick. It needs to change. Were the Dorseys acting alone? Did they have support from anyone else? Farron Brigo's gang helped them get into town. I don't know how or why. And I overheard Neelius say something about Liberty Buchanan, okay. the Patriarch's daughter. So we've got Neelius, who's leading the, uh, the Dorseys. Farron Brigo is now this other gang, uh, or the guy leading this gang. And then Neelius is talking about Liberty Buchanan. Um, the Patriarch's daughter, who also we have some issues concerning us. I think... I think she's going to attack Colorado Springs. It sounded like she's gathering an army out in the plains. Something way worse than the Dorseys. I have heard enough. If your betrayal of my family was not sufficient, your treachery here most certainly is. In the name of the Patriarch, I sentence you. Her voice shakes, but her hand does not. Oh, you didn't even see her draw her gun. Please, Lucia. I did this for you. All I ever meant was to help build a better world for you. Holy crap. For all of us. I can't tell you how much I regret. Please don't kill me. Please. The thing is, uh, killing him doesn't solve anything except for maybe making her feel better temporarily. I don't, I don't feel like this guy is evil. A better way? I can't think of one. He's a Not shithead. after what he did to my family. You want to let him walk away from what he's done? Maybe not walk away. Yeah, we, we, yeah, we arrest him. Absolutely, make sure justice is served. I have justice right here in the palm of my hand. I am more than happy to meet it out. I would be delighted to be its instrument. You're not the law here, Lucia. You're not even deputized. This is our job, and we say he's under arrest. After a long moment, she lowers her gun and looks away, tears running down her face. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. 
This is when we gotta like. This yeah. is Ranger HQ. We're getting Radio reports of shooting in your last known location at Garden of the Gods. What's your status? Over. Uh, listen. Arrested several rebels. Prisoners over to Sheriff Daisy. Oh. Okay. Who do we... Okay. So we can hand him over to Sheriff or have them come pick them up and we can, t we can monitor it. I would say we made the decision to arrest him. We should be responsible for them uh, in our compound. Copy that, November 1. Dispatching an arrest team now. Good job getting those sons of bitches. Over and out. Cool. Now everyone's happy, kind of. And I imagine there we will see them in that... Uh, in, like, the prison area of our spot. Whoa. Okay, we got Molotovs. Applies burning. A new flamethrower requires three and big guns. Solid tech 150 years ago. Pretty finicky today. A flammenwerfer. <laughs> <laughs> the German guns. Excellent. Uh, some fuel, bullets, and an armor mod. Plus three armor. So currently, we're putting any type of uh, modifications over here. I wonder, can we replace? Looks like it. Wait, hold on. No, maybe not. It says overwrite, so I'm assuming that maybe that's just gone. Hmm. So he's currently got seven armor, three here, four here, seven there, three, and five. We could really, you know what we'll do? Let's put this on here. Let's tank this up. And then we're actually going to take this and we'll swap it. Now we take the 10 armor, 7 armor here, 10 armor over here. Oh, that's sick. Like straight out of Mad Max. It's very cool. Okay. Camp's only a few days old. Looks like the Dorsey's gathered here before their attack on the city. Suture kit, med hypos. Heat sinks. What's this? Combat analysis processors. I, th I think we've cleared this area as much as we possibly can. Want to travel to downtown Colorado Springs? Yes, please. That's interesting. I love when we're presented with choices like that. I wasn't going at all where I thought it was. I thought it might be like kill him or let him live uh, or arrest him. But then when you arrest him, there's got to be a reason that you might want to send him to your place versus Sheriff Daisy's. Only time will tell. The reason I think keeping him with us is probably better. A, we made the decision. But B, I'm worried that if uh, Wesson ever gets hot-headed and leaves the party or something... You let Isaac live? After he gave aid and comfort to the enemies of the Patriarch, after he helped them kill my family, you let him live? I mean... Why arrest him when you killed all those others? What made him special? The thing is... Uh... Mm. He did save your life, yes. He's a confused kid, doesn't deserve to die because he's stupid. <sighs> Part of me agrees with that. Didn't want you to have his murder on your conscience, but she's murdered a bunch of people. But he's a little bit more personal, I guess. I think he's just a confused idiot. He doesn't deserve to die because he's stupid. Others have died for less. He's the same age as me. Old enough to know what's right and pay the price for doing wrong. But I'll admit that he was only a pawn. Yeah. He didn't mean for my family to die. It's not like he did I... it. Very well. I accept your decision to let him live. 
But the people who are truly responsible? Neelius Dorsey and Liberty Buchanan? I will bring justice to their doors. Yeah, but remember, we don't want to kill Liberty. Will you help me find them? You can count on my guns every step of the way. Oh, yeah, no, of course. But you got to follow orders like a ranger. Of course. Good. You've got yourselves a bargain, rangers. We should go after Neelius Dorsey first. Cool. Isaac said he headed west into the mountains. No doubt he plans to hole up at one of the old resorts from before the bombs fell. I don't think we're ready to face him yet, though. Neelius will be dug in, I expect, and he'll have all his best people with him. He only left behind the expendables in the garden. I thought she said she was going to follow orders, <laughs> not give them. For now, we should head back to the sheriff. Okay, let's do that. Um, I wanted to check out this little nightclub that we heard. And there's still like some stuff around this corner we haven't seen either. We can go right in. Let's just see if there's anything else on the streets before we do that. This is Corporal Gonzalez at Ranger Command. Who am I speaking with? This is Rosie Wong at the Sands Lux Apartments. The tap water's brown again. Uh, that's not really our department, Ms. Wong. Can I, uh... Then you go arrest whose department it is! <laughs> I'm trying to run a business here! My tenants have a right to clean water! Okay. Troy's Diary, a small book with a bunch of dicks drawn on the cover and the small words, Troy's Diary, don't fucking... Troy's Dairy, don't fucking read. Someone with different handwriting has added the one word, moo. Is that something we can actually read? No, doesn't seem like it. Okay. Ooh, okay, Fox, it's been real. Uh, let's see if we can get one of these dogs. I should have actually checked this first because we might not have the skills. Pupper upper. <laughs> what is it? Oh, combat speed. Actually, that's kind of good for him. Kind of good. So foxes are leadership, cats are crits, and dogs seem to be um, combat speed. We have another thing. What if we just take regular snowballs? We've only taken the piss, piss colored snowballs. Throw a target character to leave them just a little colder applies frozen. Okay. I've got to find a way to figure out what all of these different status effects are. Because as far as I can tell, the game doesn't really tell us that. And it might just have to be something we experiment with. Check our reputation here. So we have individual reputation with 100 families, patriarchs, marshals, and wastelander refugees. We're liked by them, neutral to everybody else, and then overall fame. Cool. You have to get someone here and stop this thumping. Well, it's not so much a thumping as a throbbing. Kind of like a rawr, rawr. Oh, no, no, no. Actually, it's more like a rawr, rawr. Very uh, Wong, descriptive. I, I have another call. If you could just hang on. What is this? Yeah? This is the Sans Lux Apartments? Who's there? I like Sans Lux, like, without luxury. Fucking kids. Never mind. What? Yeah? This is the Sans Lux Apartments? Fuck. That's, that's weird. Yeah, we already cleared this out. Let's go back here. I also want to check out our log real quick. So return to Sheriff Daisy, which we will do. Uh, recruit these people, which we're working on. Oh, is this... Uh, Brigo. This is uh, the guy who's leading that gang, isn't it? Let's see. Little Vegas Casino guarantees that all its table games are 95% on the level. <laughs> <laughs> Seems about right. Listen to the music. That's so cool. Follow the call of the disco ball. It's a disco themed casino.
Welcome to Little Vegas. Yeah, well, thanks, I guess. What's your favorite song? Can we play these games? It bops so hard. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Sex dwarf. <sighs> okay. Now let's start with some slots, maybe. Shit. Flashing sign on the slot machine reads one dollar to play, match three wins five. Three neon cowboys win $350 jackpot. Oh, lock picking. Hack the slot machine's microcontroller and fix the odds in your favor. Yes, please. You find the control panel on the left side of the machine, surreptitiously splice a few wires. The apparatus jackpot next to them worse to life. Winner! What? It's that easy? Okay. Excellent. Sorry, friends. Mr. Brigo says no more gambling for you. What? Why? No more gambling for me. I learned my lesson. Why me? No can do, pallies. Mr. Brigo says you've taken him oh. for enough. If it were up to me, I'd let you play, but he's the boss. Interesting. I guess they saw us take that Fuck win. Me. Bartender, private parts. There's a door back here. We have stairs this way. Why me? A brothel. What do you want? Wonder if ten is working today. Well, I'm in. Kendall. Welcome to the Little Vegas brothel, friends. Are we like a hundred percent don't need to be here? Talk to Kendall if you're looking for some company. Oh, we're here. The man's face is a crosshatch of scars. He puts on a professional smile as you approach. Hell oh, hey, Quan. Looking for a good time, oh, I assume. He knows them. Sorry, Ken. Me and my friends are here on business today. Rangers, meet Kendall, Colorado Springs' finest purveyor of sins of the flesh. That right, Quan. Why Kendall? Uh, oh god. That's my name, yes. Excuse me a moment. Turns away hard face and one of the girls leans you in. You really shouldn't ask him about that. He had a misunderstanding yeah. with Mr. Brigo and they cut off his junk. Smooth like a Ken doll. Get oh, it? no. Makes him a great pimp, though. Rip. Let's talk about having some sexy time. Rangers, you're not actually going to recreate in this disgusting place. Of course. Here at the Little Vegas brothel, we offer a royal flush of ladies and gentlemen of the evening. There's the lovely Ten of Hearts. The handsome Jack of Hearts, the imperious Queen of Hearts, the mighty King of Hearts, the unsurpassed Ace of Hearts, and for those of you who like it weird and wild, there's the one and only Joker. Sign me up for Joker. So, pick a card, any card. Tell me about the Joker. Oh, you're brave even to ask. If you like your loving, dangerous, unpredictable, uh -oh. possibly even life-threatening, then you might, might be ready for the Joker. But I am obliged to warn you that there are no safe words with the Joker, no boundaries, and most importantly, no refunds. If you choose the Joker, you take full responsibility for the consequences Understood. How can we, how can we not? Good. And good luck. Uh, that's all I need to know. Uh, maybe there's other questions about of where course. the guy is. But before we return to other topics, you need to know that if you do decide to indulge, you pay the escorts directly. Okay. Not me, okay? Now what else did you want to know? Yeah, okay. Bye. I want to send, like, our tough guy in in case we get beat up or something. End of hearts. Joker's probably down at the end then. Oh, wait. They have, uh... Well, this one has everything on it. 
Oh shit. It's a It's a like a we it's like a ram. It's a ram. I don't I don't know about this. Gracious. Goat leisurely paces this well-decorated room. It appears even-tempered and attractively rounded. Oh no. As your eyes meet, it trots up to you, a playful spring in its step. Goat's wearing a bucket around its head. Someone stenciled Joker 10 bucks under the side of the pail. Doing it. Once you drop the requisite amount of money into the bucket, the goat lets out a satisfied bleat and turns around his tail wiggling enticingly. What happened? Oh my god. We're just petting it, right? Looks like it. You're the top of the barnyard. <laughs> Penetration plus four. <laughs> Holy moly. And it lasts a long ass time too. This is where the magic happens. Yoink. Disco bot ornament. Oh, we have another uh, vehicle ornament. Focus. Critical chance. Rhino used to feel like you could kiss the sky. Your mom will be disappointed. Gain eight armor for 36 turns, but suffer less evasion afterwards. That's actually not so bad. That's not so bad. And a lot of these remove something called fried, which we'll have to learn about. Okay. Cool. That actually, that turned out fine. I would say everybody should go in there and uh, just get a little a little pick-me-up, a little penetration pick-me-up, you know? I'm going to see about heading back here, trying to find, like, the Brago, is that his name? Why me? Did you know that I know the details? I wish I could afford Oh. Man greets you with a smile, but his eyes dart about, never staying focused on your faces. He has a collection of pins and medals strewn across his chest. Ah, it's you, Red Hats. I was wondering when you'd come to see Charlie Nose. Farron Brago's capo, yeah. leader of men, hero of the Battle of Two Buttes, savior of St. Elmo, and friend to everyone worth knowing. Welcome to Little Vegas. Hey, what's, uh, what's all these titles about? All those and more. I have plenty to tell you, Red Hats. All you need is working ears and an open heart. Charlie is a friend to all and all know Charlie. So what can Charlie do for you? What's your job exactly? I'm the floor boss. I make sure our guests are happy and entertained. And that they don't wander into the back rooms. Let's say we did want to wander into a back room. <laughs> Can you let us in? I can. Did you mean, will you let us through? In that case, no. Jokes aside, Mr. Brago doesn't let anyone into the back without his explicit say-so. And we take Mr. Brago's instructions very seriously. If you want to go back there, talk to him. I thought he me. might actually be back there is the thing. We know about the Kendall thing. What can you tell us about Little Vegas? Ah, Mr. Brigo's pride and joy. Our pride and joy. He founded this club after coming here from Vegas. Apparently, it emulates the style of Sin City, but I never saw that place myself. You want to talk to the man in charge? You'll find Mr. Brigo upstairs. Oh. Okay, we were already... Oh, maybe it's up on this side, locked, though. Why do you call us red hats? Why wouldn't I? Isn't that who you are? With your hats so red? Oh well. Can't help you if you're confused. Yeah, well, I guess we remain confused. What's with these badges? You see this silver ram medal? You like it? It's my favorite badge. The patriarch himself gave it to me. Yes, sir. For saving his eldest son. Man, hmm. you should have seen the size of that snake. Strange. What about the other badge? See this one with the skull? Sheriff Daisy gave it to me for dealing with a corrupt marshal. She was a beast, let me tell you. Must have had some kind of mutation. Eight foot tall with fists like bricks. But I gave her the old razzle-dazzle, took her down. Oh boy, razzle-dazzle. Razzle-dazzle. 
Is that what you call falling while running away from her and tripping her with your quivering ass? It worked, didn't it? She fell face first into a fire plug. Knocked her cold. Okay. Uh, let's ask him what his... It, maybe Ken doll isn't what we were told, but... <laughs> you like it? He used to be a real lady killer. Then he made the unwise decision to double-cross Mr. Brigo. So the boys took him into the back room. Had him in there for weeks, poor bastard. You could hear his screams clear across town. He came back with a face that wasn't so pretty anymore. And without Master John Goodfellow. <laughs> Kendall, get it? We get it, Charlie. What a revolting story. Yeah, he didn't like it much either. Especially the ending. Okay. Until next time. So the back room is where they do all their shady business. Not surprised. It he says upstairs is open. Lounge. He said I should let you guys through. Oh. But don't even think about messing with that computer behind me. I got one job, and that's guarding that computer. And if you was to mess with it, well, that would be a very bad day for you, my friend. A very bad day. I love his accent. What's so special about the computer? That is the computer that controls the ventilation system. And I have to guard hmm. it because it's broken. And there could be real trouble if anybody said it wrong. Controls the ventilation system. What kind of trouble? Big trouble. If you set the fan to off and the heat to max, which isn't supposed to be possible, but right now it is, the furnace oh. could catch fire and burn the whole place down. So I'm not leaving my post for anything. Well, maybe if a fight broke out, okay. I would. But nobody would be stupid enough to start a fight in Mr. Brigo's place, would they? Uh, you're not gonna say I said any of this, <laughs> are you? No, 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 we're not gonna say anything. Oh, this isn't actually closed. It's, it looked like a, what am I like a barred door, like, like a metal door on there. Man, I love dancing Honey, in this place. Of course. What so if we Run need to distract this guy, what is uh, Costello Doral. doing over here? That's so 2090. He's dancing. Great choice for nostalgia. If we need to uh, cause I a kerfluffle, we want to fight, then get access to his computer, and then set the place on fire or something. Uh, before we go and talk to him, I think for uh, hope you hit the jackpot for today. What we'll do is we'll go talk to Sheriff Daisy, wrap that up, probably get some levels out of it, and. Uh, and then we can decide what we want to tackle next. But I'm, I'm all about going to talk to that guy if we want to. Because there's some connections there based on our uh, previous interaction with the dude that we arrested. That we should probably look into. the big run here. Oh, this was that guy's shop, actually. Let's see if he's set up now. Seems to be. Level 5 lock picking. Oh, we can change our thing here. Okay. So there's a couple places we can do that. Clothing store. That makes sense. Ammo box is open. All right. Look, Martha. It's our friends who helped us save the shop. What can I do for you? We've got some discounts with your name on them. Um, what do you sell? So it's clothing. And armor. Okay, so that's what I was wondering. Just trying to get an idea of what kind of things we might be looking for. Okay. We're not going to buy anything yet, but now that we know what's there, it's good. Did you just give me a hickey? Family's taken hostage. <laughs> Look at him. Keep it down? Oh, what's this? 
that's who we heard about the hooky, I guess. You, Troy! Those old people are looking at us? <laughs> it's okay, Brandy. I got this. Get lost, you perv douchebags. Before I... Wait a minute. You're old, right? Uh-oh. Can you get us some beers? Those stupid Mary Milk Teeth won't sell us any. Too young, she says. Uh, let's rap, fellow youth. Drinking and drugs ain't cool, okay? Stay in school. Holy shit. Can you be <laughs> any more lame? We tried. Just... Ew! Maybe later. Yeah, later. Yeah, later, my ass. Buddy. Brave Marshal, stop Dorsey's at Palace Gates! Patriarch alive and Diary safe! Diary of a beautiful Brandy. The eye is drawn in a heart. Wait. That's hers. Wait, whose was the other thing? The other junk uh, that we had. It's Troy's! Wow, we have both of their diaries. What are the chances? Maybe pretty high. I don't know. Either of you ever worry about getting hits to a pillory? Hell yeah. I've always got a smile for the marshals. I think we should pull some marshals from Broadmoor. Put them here in downtown. If an enemy gets all the way to Broadmoor, you got I like your style, Rangers. I asked for a favor and you came through for me. Of course, I'd have liked it better if you sent Isaac Reed and his trader friends to me rather than locking them up in Ranger oh. HQ. Yeah, I mean, I guess you would like that, but we made the arrest. You didn't. Seems to me that if Hello. somebody commits a crime in Colorado Springs, they should face Colorado Springs justice. And I sure would appreciate it if you keep that in mind for the future. Okay, okay, okay. Fine. Lesson learned. Will do. Glad to hear that. I think we'll get along fine. I think it's probably good to keep these reputations up. Now, before so. I forget, let me introduce you to Hope Emerson. She heard all about you coming to town, and she wants to join up. Ain't that right, Hope? Pleasure's mine, Rangers. Ran the lockup in a little town called Amity on Colorado's eastern border. Figured I could do the same thing for you at your HQ. Assuming you'll be arresting people now and then? Sure. Amity got flattened by the scar collectors a while back, so Hope came west. Been trying to get her to join the marshals ever since, but she keeps turning me down flat. We uh, have some differences when it comes to crime and punishment. But that aside, she's smart, honorable, and she'd be an asset to your organization. Happy to have her. You need someone for that position, so welcome aboard. Great. I'll head over to Ranger headquarters in a bit and start fixing up your brig. I can't think of a better way to serve than to ensure that our justice is fair, even to those who transgressed against it. So, back to business. Did you find out how the Dorseys got into town? Well, um, it's definitely involving this Farron Brigo. Isaac Reed confessed that he helped them, but it was Farron Brigo's gang who let them in. Well, since you already dealt with Isaac, let's concentrate on Brigo. <sighs> I'll never understand why the Patriarch let that rat set up shop here. Been nothing but trouble, so him making a deal with the Dorseys doesn't surprise me in the least. In fact, I had a hunch he might be involved, so I sent my best man over to his nightclub, the Little Vegas, to search for a connection. Haven't heard back from him, though. Oh. And I'm a little worried. Okay. Say, what if I asked you rangers to go to Little Vegas and check up on Oh, uh, there's the connection. And if you happen to find proof that Brigo helped the Dorseys while you're there, well, feel free to cuff the bastard and haul him in. Okay. Yeah, no, we're on it. Take down Brigo for me, and I'll make sure your cool. HQ gets the best equipped armory this side of the Rockies. Guns, ammo, armor, the whole shebang. Okay, and if we do arrest him, we'll give it to Sheriff Daisy this time. The marshal I sent to the Little Vegas is named Delgado. Family man and the best inspector I've got. Keep him safe and I'll owe you another favor. So he's either going to be in that back room, the upper level uh, where Brigo is supposed to be, or the upper level in the brothel. Maybe one of the rooms or something. Always a pleasure, Rangers. Okay. Let's, uh, let's do some level ups here. So... Abbott, what do we want next? We can max out awareness, intelligence. We can go for an extra action point here. 
What does this change? Perception's up pretty big. Range damage is a big leap as well. Yeah, you know what? Let's max it. Feels good. And then skills, we're going to go lock picking for sure. And... Should probably take the sniper rifle. That or first aid, but... I'm wondering if maybe instead of him, we can have somebody else that specializes in this. Yeah, see, he's actually got a pretty big jump on people. And is that all because of getting 5% experience from that? And then his backstory. So, yeah, it adds up, I guess. So he's kind of like all around whatever. Leadership bonus there is nice. He's our most charismatic, I think. Strike rate, leadership bonuses. But what do we do for his skills? Automatic weapons are pretty high. I think we go kiss ass here. And then just hold the extra one. And then maybe on this side, what we do is take like range damage bonus for the guns. Yeah. Mission rewards bonuses are increased. Now let's take awareness. Okay. And then Maluka explosives. Let's go in here first. This is already at level 5. I feel pretty good about that. Um, maybe big guns. And we could do like a weapon and armor mod as well. Kind of feel like we're spreading her a bit thin, but... Oh, we have to do her attribute also. I think strength is pretty good between her and uh, Costello. I can see that working out. All right, math machine. What do we want to do here? So I think weird science is a good one. Let's focus on that a little bit. And then we'll save your, your other one. And then I'm thinking... Energy, fire, and cold. Automatic weapons. Let's go here. Get him like a whole bunch of action points. Eventually. Then Lucia. Small arms is pretty high at five. Here's where we kind of have some overlap. So Maluka we built, and we built into armor modding and weapon modding. Lucia, she has small arms, but then she's in weapon modding survival. Maybe we could go into here to have extra damage, uh, or even, even bartering would be okay for selling stuff. I don't know how important it will be to avoid map encounters, but also, like, that's XP, I imagine. So we probably don't want to avoid all of them anyway. And then let's go into... She's a single shot. So crit chances are kind of nice. And if we take this, we get an extra skill point. So let's do that. And we'll just hold on to that extra one. Okay. Cool. Guys, we have our new plan now. Uh, we're going to go to the nightclub and cause a kerfluffle, very likely. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.